Hey, what's going on, you guys? Z Keith Carnes here. It's been quite a while. Well, not really that long. It's been maybe a couple weeks since my last upload. Anyway, that's irrelevant because when you see this, it'll probably be even longer. Doesn't really matter. Let's just get at the topic at hand. It's that time of the year again, and the video game world is definitely, definitely getting to a very, very fun, very, very anticipated moment. And today, I'm talking about multiple topics. There's multiple videos I'm uploading today. So if you're seeing this at a later date, just go to my uploads and you can see what else I uploaded this day. So anyway, right now we're talking about WWE 2K14, the first WWE title under the 2K li Sports License. Um, obviously, this is not going to be... 2K's best adventure yet into the WWE universe, so to speak, because they took over the license a little late from GameStop. So anyway, with this uh, GameStop, what the fuck? <laughs> I said, what the fuck? I said GameStop. I'm sorry, not GameStop, but from THQ, who uh, pretty much went tits up, if you will. So anyway, guys, sit back and enjoy. This is just the my reaction to the roster reveal. I did this last year for WWE 13. So this year, WWE 2K14, most of its roster has been revealed. And I'll give you my thoughts below. And uh, I mean below. Give you. Wow, I am tired. I'll give you my thoughts right here in the video. Please enjoy and thank you for tuning in. So as, as most of my subscribers would know, I'm a huge WWE fan. I, I usually review the pay-per-views. I'm sorry that I haven't been up to that lately. I've been very busy in my life. Haven't really had the opportunity to upload a review, but I am confirming that I'm going to be watching SummerSlam tomorrow night. Um, so I will have a review of that up. By the time most people watch this, that review will already be up, so you can find that under the review section. Anyway, let's get at uh, topic in hand. So the roster for the official, most of the official roster for WWE 2K14 coming out October 29th of this year has been unveiled by 2K on their official website, and this is a, an amazing roster. So much the fact that it actually got me excited for a game that I honestly have not been excited for before today, and I actually am going to make an effort to try to get the Phenom edition of this game. That's how good it looks. So, let's go ahead and go over the roster. So, obviously, um, this year's game is going to pretty much touch on what's been going on in the last couple WWE titles under THQ, where they're mixing current superstars with legends and alumni. Now, alumni is, uh, has been something that I've wanted to see in a game for a long time, and this game is capitalizing on alumni, I think, even better than the Attitude Era in last year's installment. So, here's the roster as it reads. Alberto Del Rio, who gives a shit, he sucks. Andre the Giant, eh, cool addition. Batista, an amazing addition. Now, I don't know what version of Batista is going to be in. I'm guessing it's the one with all the new tats. I really hope so. I mean, I'm not talking about his whole back tattoo like he has right now. But I'm talking about more of his 2010 look when he departed from the company. So that's nice. Big Show, who cares? Retro Big Show, once again, who gives a shit? Big John Studd, that's a pretty surprising uh, in, uh, addition to the roster. Never thought Big John Studd would be in. He's not a very talked about uh, late superstar, rest in peace, but he's not really talked about, so he was kind of a surprise, but a pleasant surprise. I'll definitely use him here and there. Uh, Bret Hart, of course, no surprise. Current Brock Lesnar, retro Rock Brock Lesnar, that's pretty cool there. Um, I may use the retro Brock Lesnar if he has the current tattoo, which I really doubt he's going to have because he's retro. He's probably going to be like his 2003-2004 look. If that's the case, then I won't use it. Um, next up is Chris Jericho, current Jericho, of course, and retro Jericho. Now, from what I can see of the retro Jericho, definitely Chris Jericho I could use in the game. And uh, definitely looking forward to seeing more on that character. Uh, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan with the beard, finally. Uh, Darren Young. Diesel, nice addition. I'm happy to see uh, Kevin Nash once again a part of the game. Dolph Ziggler, Edge. Edge somehow made it in. Uh, definitely part of the alumni part. Now, this is the one I'm most excited for. Goldberg. Been waiting on Goldberg since really WWE 12. Um, when it was rumored he was going to be in that game, then it was rumored he was going to be in 13. And finally, it's no longer a rumor or a wish. He's finally in. And I cannot wait to play as Goldberg. He'll definitely be the first guy I use. Um... Classic Hulk Hogan, won't ever use him. Hollywood Hulk Hogan will definitely use. JBL, nice to see JBL make it in. Uh, shitty John Cena of today is in, but Retro Cena is in, so that's a big plus. Uh, Mass Kane, not a big deal. King Kong Bundy, cool uh, 
another kind of like Big John Stud, another pretty surprising that he made the cut. Um, Mick Foley, that was cool to see him. I would have rather seen Cactus Jack, though. Macho Man Randy Savage, another one I won't use. Um, no, no offense to Randy Savage. I know he's a big... A lot of people like him. I just think he was kind of overrated. Randy Orton. And this is another one that I'm actually very, very surprised to see him, but very, very excited to see him. That's Razor Ramon. This is another superstar, but I've been wanting him in more, well, not more, but longer than Bill Goldberg. And the reason is, is because I have been wanting Razor Ramon in since, I would say, SmackDown versus Raw 2006. 2007. It's been very. It's been many years since I've been waiting for this edition. So it's so awesome to see him. I just really hope they knock his entrance out of the ballpark, and I can't wait to use him. Um, Rey Mysterio, who we don't even see anymore. It's kind of like a question of is he even with the company more? I mean, I know he is, but like, where is he? Injured as usual. Uh, current Ric Flair, which is cool. Retro Ric Flair, which is cool. Uh, Ricky Steamboat, another useless slot. Ryback, Sergeant Slaughter, another useless slot. Um, Shawn Michaels. Retro Shawn Michaels, that's pretty cool. Stone Cold, obviously. Ted DiBiase, not... Uh, this would be the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, not, not the jobber. The Rock of today, the Rock of yesterday. The Miz, Triple H. Now, this is a cool thing about Triple H, is that they did put in a retro Triple H, but they put in a badass Triple H. They put him in from, like, 2000, 2001, was when he was on steroids. And I think that was Triple H's best, that he looked physically, but also I think he was just at the best in his game, no pun intended, at that time in his career. So I definitely can't wait to use that version of Triple H. Ultimate Warrior, but he's a pre-order bonus, but you'll be able to buy him probably like in January, February. Undertaker of today, American Badass Undertaker with the long hair. That was a pleasant surprise. And Yokozuna's finally in. This is another one I've been waiting on to see. Um, now, I know Yokozuna was in... Um, was in Legends of WrestleMania, but that game was god awful. So it's, I'm glad to see him actually make it into the main title. Uh, Yoko Zuna has been on my wish list for a few years now, and it's, I'm glad to see the big man make it in. So, pretty good. I gotta admit, I'm very, very, very surprised, but very pleasantly surprised with this roster. Definitely the biggest ones that stand out, in my opinion, are definitely uh, Batista Goldberg's number one. And, um,. Very surprised and happy to have Razor Ramon. And so, so, so far, I mean, that's not even the full roster. I'm sure there will be more surprises um, on the roster. Um, of course, there's yet again the rumor that Kurt Angle is going to be in. Um, I would say I doubt it because he's with TNA, but so is Hulk Hogan. And there's not one but two different Hulk Hogans in this game. And WWE has to get permission from Hulk Hogan because Hogan actually owns his personality, kind of like Sting. So, don't rule anything out. You could even see Sting and who knows. But... Anyway, guys, that's it um, so far. Let's hope um, we get more surprises. But if we didn't get any more surprises and the rest were just current superstars, I would be completely happy with this roster. Um, 2K has definitely gone above and beyond my expectations for this game. And the gameplay looks really great. I've been watching a few matches by them um, earlier today. And even though it is roughly the same thing we get every year, like Call of Duty, you know, the WWE games, you really can't go wrong with them. I've, I've never got one that I hated. I've been very, very happy with them every year for the last, like, eight, ten years I've been buying them. And uh, I really can't say anything negative about them. And I'm looking forward to this game very much. Can't wait to play it. Can't wait to get my hands on it, if you will. And um, definitely looking to pick this one up. Hopefully I'll get it on release date or soon after. Um, but that's about it. So, you know, I hope you guys liked my, I guess you could say, kind of reaction video. Um, once they unleash the whole roster, I will talk about the ones I didn't talk about in this video. So count this as kind of like a part one, if you will. Um, but that's about it. So, once again, you guys, this is, my name is The Keith Carnes. If you're not subscribed already, feel free to do so. If not, that's cool. Just thank you for stopping by and checking out my content. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys on the flip side, whatever the fuck that means. I don't know. But thumbs up to take uh, to two K Sports. Very, very impressed with you guys. I have faith in you. I was kinda scared when THQ lost the license, but I'm actually smiling now that they did because it looks like take two uh so I almost want to say take two. Two K looks like they're gonna um definitely make us happy. So anyway guys, this is the Keith Carnes. Once again I keep repeating myself and I will see you guys later. Peace.